chimneys have often been the area to stay well clear of for a string inverter. So let's take a look exactly what is the truth around chimneys. Here's my chimney setup, and as you can see, those chimney stacks are pretty aggressive. Um, the end phase outperformed the Fronius um, about six kilowatt hours over 12 days. So let's take another look at that in a little bit more detail. So this was the worst day. Now, Mark, I don't know how many 2.5 kilowatt hour days you get in Queensland, but we get them here in Adelaide, so they do factor for something. Now, overall, the, uh, it was overcast and rainy all day, and um, this was on the 11th of July, and the um, end phase, again, a couple of hundred watts more than the Fronius, pretty typical. But the best solar day during that test, the Fronius was very, very close to the end phase, in actual fact, spent the majority of the day outperforming the end phase. Now, this goes absolutely against everything we've ever read about string inverters and shade. And you can see in the middle of the day by the image there exactly how much shade is across these panels and how often the Fronius system was outperforming that end phase. So an amazing result for a string inverter. So when I completed that test, what I realised is, you know what, it doesn't matter whether it's unshaded, partially shaded, or fully shaded with a chimney, the results are about the same. In actual fact, if you look at the bottom charts, then you can see that if it's mostly clear and mostly sunny, which is probably 60% of the year, the difference is about 1% between an end phase and a Fronius system. When it's overcast and scattered rain, it pops up to about 3 or 4%. But again, no, no real striking difference for all the days that this spent in shaded conditions. Okay, so in conclusion, I think a few takeaways. One of them being, when ACO solar panels and, and, and modern panels of today have come a really long way in solving and helping to solve problems to do with shade and panel mismatch and so forth. But also, don't let anyone tell you that a Fronia string inverter can't handle chimneys and vent pipes and leaves and micro cracks, because that's simply not true. Thanks for watching and good luck on your solar journey.